I want to tell you a story about energetic vampires, about psychic vampires. Firstly, if you're going to work, if you're going to these places and you're feeling really drained, really low in energy, then maybe there's these sort of energetic vampires around you. Why would they be there? Well, everything happens for a reason. Life gives you reflections back so you can develop, so you can transform in your life. If you're around people that are taking your energy. Now, the, one of the simplest ways that people do this is just through their attention. So getting your attention. So, and, and you might be watching this and you might realize that you're a little bit of an energy vampire yourself. You know, we all need energy to survive and we used to get that energy from nature. Nature provides abundantly through the sun, through the ocean, through the wind, through the freshness, through the leaves, through the trees, through the colors, through grounding and touching the earth, we'd recharge. Most of us are disconnected from the earth. Most of us uh, go about our days on concrete a lot of the time. When we go outside, we put rubber soled shoes on. We literally sometimes never ever touch the ground. There'd be people that wouldn't touch the actual earth for a month or potentially even longer. And this is where we came from. So there's this disconnection. Then these people need to find energy elsewhere and they'll go to people to find that. And one of the easiest ways is to get the attention of other people. So if someone just likes you know, in your work environment or whatever, will talk and talk and talk and ask questions and have your attention and get your attention and, and just have you listening and listening and listening. And if you're a nice person with open energy, now being nice isn't necessarily a good thing, but if you, you know hold yourself to being nice, you might just sit there and listen and yeah, yeah, just yeah, listening. And you're giving your awareness, you're giving your time, you're giving your attention. Now this is okay if it's coming from your heart and you're actually fully present and you're being with that person but a lot of the times it will be coming from your mind and it'll be like, oh, maybe I should be nice here. Okay, I'll just sort of, even though I just, I want to leave and even though my body's telling me that I should leave, I'm going to stay here and this, this is when the energy starts to get sucked. Now, why does this happen? It's life saying to you, if you're attracting these type of people, it's life actually saying you need to plug up your boundaries. You need to plug them up because there's holes, there's leaks going on. Energy vampires can only latch on, and, it, and it's like, a, it's, a, it's a harsh word maybe, you know. They're just human beings who are just looking for love, like everyone. We can all be vampires at different times. It's, it's, a, it's a heavy word that we don't have to get stuck on. So let's just say um, energetic people that like to take energy rather than give energy. So we've just got takers, and then we've got givers, and then we've got equal people maybe. So we've got takers of energy. So you have takers and they can only take from people who are open and who are, who are just going to naturally give. But there's a difference because some people give from their heart and are just fully open and present. And this actually can be very healing for the takers and that can transform things in minutes for people if there's full presence and just giving and and but then also when the body when like my body goes you know what well, that's enough then also to have a boundary like this is this is really healthy but most of us will often actually just give from a place of i don't want to give but i'm sort of sucked in and this person or it'll just be happening subconscious and you'll get to the end of the day and go like geez what just happened there and I'm talking from experience here, you know, go back six years ago or something. I had my own business and it was a great business. We had a smoothie van, we'd go around to festivals, we'd create our superfood smoothies, we'd get our superfood balls into cafes, into stores and it was, it was actually really amazing and I learned so much from that experience. And for some reason, it attracted an amazing community. It was so incredible, but, but it also attracted takers. Because if you have a really bright light, you'll attract other bright lights, but you'll all also attract people that feel like they need the light. And it's like, I have to get some of that. And there's, there's this energy. And that's, that's beautiful as well. 
but I didn't have the capacity back then to really fully understand what was going on. And I remember reading the book Celestine Prophecy. And Celestine Prophecy uh, by James Redfield, I think, is, is a fictional story, but it's infused with a lot of truth and wisdom. And if you haven't read, read it, I highly recommend that you do. But Celestine Prophecy, I was reading it, and I read this part about um, like how energy is transferred from people to people and how this dance and dynamic plays out. And it was probably midnight or something. And I almost started dry reaching because this huge awareness came into me like, oh my God, that's what's, that's what's been going on. That's why I've got to the end of the day a lot of times and just been absolutely wrecked. Sometimes it felt like my kidneys, like the lower back had just been like pulled out. And I was just like so scattered and so run down. My energy was just like... Now, yes, if you know about human design, I have one of the most open charts in human design, um, like a very, very open projector. So naturally, I've got a very open energy field and taking in a lot of energy. Therefore, it's going to be important for me to have boundaries. But I, I drew in these situations so I could actually learn how to have boundaries. So I actually, actually could put boundaries up when needed. And I remember like, you know, going into the office and having some, having like posters saying like, don't interrupt me from this time to this time. And I would have earplugs or I'd have like just ways to sort of stay in my zone. And yeah, I just want to be clear that it's not really the the, the takers that, that, that are the problem. It's like just we're, we're all swimming in the same soup. We're all in this together. And they just actually are playing out a role to be like, to let you know, hey, time to lock down. If that's if you're not in a full giving state, speak up for what you need. You'll feel that something in the body that starts to feel a bit drained or feel a bit like, oh, getting you like low energy or, or foggy in the head or something. And this is an indication that you need to be having the ability and the awareness inside your body to feel. And once you do that, you can go, Oh, well, what do I need? Oh, I need to actually break this connection right now. That's what I need. And then it's having the ability to actually speak that and express that. Hey there, uh, I'm just noticing that I've just got a little bit of pain in my shoulder and, you know, I just, I'm feeling like I, I need to need to head off for the day. But um, yeah, hopefully it's all right if we wrap it up here. And you just sort of speak that and most likely that's going to be fine and you've actually like almost passed a test life just had a test it's like okay charlie step up are you going to have a boundary here when you feel your energy being uh like you know giving your energy too much or are you going to just actually keep giving it and then get fully drained like what are you going to do or are you going to step up and have a boundary oh you stepped up and had a boundary great if you do that over and over then actually i don't attract as many people like that because i've already learned my lesson so just be really aware of what's playing out in your life and where the boundaries are that you need to be having in your life because it's a really, really important dance that we have and this can happen over social media, this can happen in communities, this can happen in relationships, this can happen in family units, businesses. Like, like There's always exchanges of energy going on. And we want to give a lot of our energy, but it needs to come from a space of love and we need to feel like balanced and in our own functional range. We need to feel like we're balanced before going into that. If we're feeling very scattered and out of it and out of our functional range, which is just a range that where we function normally, if we're like reacting or going into childhood patterns or imprints, then yeah, we can't give from that space. We just, we, we're gonna be giving fear and we're gonna receive back more fear. So this video is just to bring more awareness to the dynamics in your life. So just look out with compassion into your life. Also look at yourself with compassion. You know, sometimes it's okay if you become a taker, if that's what you need, but it's just good to express that. If you need something, just express that, you know, to to, Kelly, if I need something, if I'm feeling quite down and I'll directly express, hey Kelly, um, I really need your full awareness and presence right now. Um, are you available for that? And I've got to be okay with a no. I'd obviously prefer a yes. And if it's a no, it's a no. If it's a yes, then Kelly's fully there and present with me. And same for Kelly, when she needs my attention and presence, 
she asked for it. So I think that's all. If you like this video, there'll be more to come. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if you know someone that might value this, maybe in a work situation or family situation where maybe they just, they give too much from a space of lack or they're always tired and they really need to plug up their energetic boundaries as much as possible. All the way from Melbourne, Arthur's Seat, wishing you an incredible Christmas and holiday season.